Modifying dimensions. Let's learn how to modify dimensions a little bit, so that they add a little more flexibility and control to our designs. In the previous lessons, we learned how to add a radius and diameter dimension to this design. You can open this up too by browsing, browsing to your project files, going to chapter 9, and opening up practice dimensioning. Okay, so what am I talking about here? Let me go ahead and add a radius dimension to this circle here. Press the spacebar, this circle here, or the arc of the circle, and continue. And we don't really want to keep doing this for all of our arcs. It kind of becomes very repetitive and it's redundant if all of them are the same measure. So I'll go ahead and delete these here. And I'll keep this last one here. Well, we can go ahead and select this. We can move it around with the grips. There are menus in here, more things that we can edit. I'll go ahead and hit escape. Now there's a few ways to edit this text here. I can go ahead and reactivate the radius command. And if I was to put a dimension to this, you can see on the bottom in the command line, I have M text, text, and angle. I can also access these options by right clicking and choosing M text, text, and angle. Let's go ahead and see what angle does. If I select that, I have to specify the angle of the dimension text. Let's go ahead and say 30 and press enter. And now as you can see, if I want to place my text, it's at an angle of 30 degrees. So let's go ahead and leave that at 30 degrees. And I'll pan over a bit. And I will place that down there. Well, what are the other options that I can do? I'll go ahead and activate the command one more time. Choose the same line. I'll keep it at the default horizontal radius. Right click and choose M text. Now I'm able to edit the text that's actually showing. Well, I could just put three and once I do that, it puts a prefix in front of it. It's not actually deleting the text of the dimension, but if you wanted to, you could go ahead and highlight it and hit delete. I'm going to go ahead and hit Control Z to undo that. I'll put my cursor right before the R, delete the 3, and I actually want to have my cursor at the end. Now, it can kind of be hard to add your cursor somewhere in there to add additional text. So just make sure you click on it. You can hit your left or your right arrow or even the home and the end keys in order to position your cursor exactly where you want it to. Once it's at the end, I'll go ahead and hit enter and I'll type something like typical. And then I'll go ahead and exit the editor. You can see up here. I'll go ahead and close, close. And now as I place my text for the dimension, you see I have a radius of 3.0000 and it's typical. I can go ahead and delete this pan to the side a bit and delete this as well. Double click my middle mouse wheel and now you see I only have to dimension one time and it looks kinda like it's on this flat line here so I'm actually gonna go ahead and pull this down just so it's clear that it's indicating it's the radius of this curved area here. I'll hit escape but now you don't have to dimension this side, this side, and this curved side here. I'm indicating that a radius of three is typical for this part so if someone was re-dimensioning this, they know this side, this side, this side, and this one all have a radius of 3. Modifying your dimension in such a way is very useful because of that. But what happens if you place a dimension and you forgot to add the typical? Well, you can always go ahead and double click and then you enter the text editor here. And you can again, again repeat the same process of adding enter. typical just like before close and close I'll go ahead and delete this and pan to the side a bit select this dimension and position it to where I want it maybe a little bit closer again you have more options here but we'll cover these options a little bit later but let's say we wanted to have the text above the dimension line we can go ahead and do that we can select it once again and maybe you want to move the text only want the text over here but that isn't very useful so I'll go ahead and hit control Z to undo that so you can go ahead and explore a little more with these commands yourself but we'll cover these a little bit later in a different tutorial